Hello everyone, I'm Nini FC and this is Blue Lines TV. And today, I'm bringing you guys some more exclusive news surrounding Sari and whether he's going to be joining Chelsea. And before I get into the video, you guys know what the deal is. Smash that like button, help me get more than 500 likes for this video. And press the bell notification button if you haven't. As I keep saying, thank you to everyone that does press the subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, but if you don't press the bell notification button as well, there is really no point into subscribing. But anyway, you guys, I've got some exclusive news that I've been told today surrounding Marina, Sari, and Antonio Conte. And I think it's very interesting and I just had to make this video. Now, I have been given information further detailing the context in regards to what's happening with Sari and the club. And I feel that this makes a lot of sense and it explains a lot of things. And the reason for the delay is down to Marina. Now I know that Marina has become a controversial figure amongst Chelsea fans. Sometimes I think it's pretty unfair. We can't forget a lot of the good things that she has done for the club as well. But I can reveal that Marina's plan is to force De Laurentiis, the Napoli owner, to sack Sari. And this is why Sari hasn't been responding to ADL and obviously uh, having the meeting with him that was supposed to happen and just being very off and making things very difficult. If you want to know the full details as to what's been happening and what De Laurentiis has been saying, watch yesterday's video to get the full debriefing. I have been told that Marina has sold the idea to Sari to try and force ADL to sack him and she basically told Sari that yes, we do want you, but there are other targets we are monitoring at the same time. And if you want to join Chelsea, this is your best chance at securing the deal. As we know, Marina is very ruthless and she is very assertive when she wants to get something. The club's plan, pushed by Marina, is to not pay the buyout clause that Napoli won for Sari. And the plan is to continue putting pressure on ADL to force him to sack Sari. Now ADL, obviously I'm referring to De Laurentiis, he's under a lot of pressure to secure a new manager. It's not helping that Sari's be making things difficult at the same time. And obviously with clubs, they like to secure their managers pretty quickly. I mean, look at recent examples, West Ham securing Pellegrini, uh, Unai Emery going to Arsenal, etc, etc. Clubs like to secure managers quickly so they can get that stability because of course it's the summer and you want to make sure you can start planning targets and obviously what your plans are for the season. I have been told that Antonio Conte will be sacked. I have been told that the plan is to sack Antonio Conte the minute Sari has been sacked by ADL. The club is in lockdown mode in this moment in time which I have reported to you guys already so getting further information is harder. This is why the video isn't going to be too long today. But as I keep referring that Sari is purposely making things harder in terms of the negotiations to try and force this sack in. An example of Sari doing this was not actually giving any minutes to Christian Baggio. Christian Baggio is a 35 or 36 year old Napoli right back. He's been at the club for a very long time. It was his final game and of course Sari didn't use him at all. Now of course reports came out that he did have a slight muscular problem but it wasn't anything too significant for him to not even come off the bench to play for a bit and stuff like that is gonna annoy ADL. Marina doesn't want us to play the buyout clause and you have to think about it like this, you know, Antonio Conte is going to cost around 10 million to get rid of and then Sari's buyout clause is another 8 million on top of that and then you have to take in consideration if Sari comes the wages he's going to be on is going to be much higher than what he's earning at Napoli at this moment in time. The deal could potentially go up to 20 million plus and the club ideally wouldn't want to spend that type of money if they don't have to. If Sari is sacked of course the plan is to use the buyout clause money they would have paid for Sari to Antonio Conte, thus killing two birds with one stone. And that's all the exclusive news I have been given at this moment in time. If I hear any further reports, of course, expect to hear it here on Blue Lines TV. Or if you follow me on Twitter, you might read it on Twitter as well. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to end the video. As I said, it's not going to be a long run. Please like, comment and subscribe to help me get more than 500 likes for this video today. In the comment section below, what do you think? Do you think that this plan could work? Are your views of Marina a bit different right now? Do you think there's a big possibility that ADL will actually uh, fall into the pressure and sack Sari? Of course, reports are coming out that Ancelotti, I mean, they're conflicting, but reports are coming out that Ancelotti is the preferred target if Sari does leave. And of course, if you want to get this guy, other clubs are interested in him. I've told you Monaco like him as well. You have to move him quickly to secure the deals. Hopefully before the end of this month, we're going to have a clear indication on who the new manager is going to be exciting times ahead expect a lot more reports to be coming out thank you for watching i'm nini fc this is blue lines tv 
And just to let you guys know quickly, tomorrow will be the subscribe recording show. So if you want to be part of the show, send me an email. My email is going to be in the description below. Make sure you send an email if you want to come on because otherwise I want to keep this show flowing. I don't want it to be a situation where I'm waiting 10 minutes for someone to come on. I want it to flow seamlessly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.